Hi, my name is Paul Beaumont. I'm the president of the union here at Imperial College London. Uh, today we've welcomed back Brian May and Roger Taylor from Queen uh, because they've been awarded the Music Heritage Award uh, from PRS. Uh, they chose Imperial College Union as the venue for receiving this award because this is where they played their first gig as Queen back in 1970. The plaque was unveiled in Metric, the union's nightclub, but will live on Prince Consort Road for all the public to see. It was quite life-changing because there suddenly was this energy coming to us from outside. We had a lot of energy inside, we had a lot of belief and we worked really hard, but suddenly there was a real audience there who actually knew what we did and had an expectation and were excited about what we did and wanted to be a part of it. So it was the first really, you know, where it's the first time we'd actually turn people away from the door and it's the first time we ever got a review in, in a paper, you know, so a very crucial time, a very, very, um, a time of exploding dreams really. Well, we played as Smile here before. We used to just do informal gigs just over there, actually, in what used to be a kind of lounge bar. And actually here, right here, there used to be um, part of the, um, I'm trying to think what they look like, like a May ball. You would have someone in the main hall, but we would also have someone here, like Chicken Shack or whatever. So we had played down here as well as 1984, I think. You know, so I'm going back a long way. So, but um, what happened was, I, I think, you know, we were just at that stage where I didn't really want to push us as a group in a sense because it was an unfair advantage because I was on, on the entertainment committee. But everybody said, look, you're just at that point where things are starting to happen. This is a good time for you to play at our own uh, college. So it was booked and we played it and that's what happened. Right next to Imperial is one of the greatest musical colleges in the country, but none of us went there. We all went to other colleges in London. Roger's at medical school, I'm at uh, Imperial doing physics, John is doing electronics in, um, uh, in, uh, in Chelsea, and uh, Freddie is doing graphic design in Ealing College. And um, so none of us are actually studying music per se, uh, but we're infused, we're passionate with this dream and this desire to make music in our own way. So it's very much not a formal thing. So I think, you know, life is still like that. You can be surrounded by formality and it's good to learn your trade, it's good to be dedicated to your education. But if you have a dream inside you, you have to follow it or else it withers away. And I think, you know, you wither away with it because you get so few opportunities in life to do what you really want to do, you know. And life is, it seems, a unique thing. You know, you, you're born and you die, and what happens in the middle is, um, is your own choice. And if you land up in a job that you hate, you've really thrown away your life. So you have to follow your dream or you die, I think.